My mother felt in 11th grade that my being a psychologist might be a good idea because she saw me observing the family. My specialty in graduate school and soon after was anger management, hypertension and anger management. Different things were going on where I needed to make a shift in that. And that was the first time that I said, all right, Lord, I was already committed to be a psychologist, but I am totally open to what direction I should take in terms of my specialty. I go to Colgate Rochester Divinity School, and he's just leading me on this little pilgrimage. I can still not remember how long I went to that library on Saturdays. It was important to be in that physical space. I started reading about spirituality, and then the spirituality and health that emerged as a focus. That was now almost 25 years ago. What's fascinating now is that that is not only my research specialty, my teaching, the focus in worship, all of these things are kind of converging on a greater focus on spiritual experience and health-related dimensions. And not only in the content of what I do, but in the process. Process meaning how we do it. Mm -hmm. What are we embodying as we live this out? So if I'm talking about spirituality and health, but I'm working with my students in a way that's not fostering their spiritual growth and our collective health, God kind of convicts me about that. And he reminds me that it's not just the content I care about. I care about who you're becoming and who your students and colleagues are becoming as you're working together.